So the Sheridan, the M551, it's a bit of a weird tank if you think about it. A 152mm gun which can fire missiles but then fires really slowly because of a very, very odd feature that was also slightly futuristic. See, the tank has caseless ammunition, some of the earliest examples of it, but because the entire case burns, there's a lot of gas that needs to get out of the barrel. And that makes it very slow because it needs to pump all that air out. And compared to something like the M48 Patton, which could fire off a whole bunch of rounds in about a minute, the Sheridan really couldn't do that. So when it was used in Vietnam, it was a very slow firing, but it had one key advantage, aside from it being really light, was that it was airdrop capable. One of the only tanks specifically designed to do this particular thing. And there are airborne assault vehicles, don't get me wrong, there were some before that, but this was designed to be dropped like this. But in actual practice they realized that that was too dangerous and then just subsequently never did it until they went to Panama where 10 tanks were dropped, or at least some of them were dropped, I'm not clear on the actual numbers, but the parachute failed to deploy securely and the tank basically tanked. So yeah, that's not the best track record for the main feature that the tank was designed to have to one-up all other airborne assault vehicles, which basically makes this the modern day, or at least the Cold War era equivalent of the Tetrach. You know, I can kind of see it. I can kind of see it. But all that said, it is a very interesting vehicle, but that then brings us to the next question of if the Patton does what the Sheridan does as far as firepower goes better, why not combine the two? And so what they did was they took the gun that would later be used on the M41 and put it onto the Sheridan. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the M551-76, the battle pass vehicle of this current season, and let's get to it. All right, here we go in a suitably jungleified map. Junglified is a word, don't look it up. And we do actually have the standard green camouflage that they would use in the Vietnam era. So it's interesting that this is a tank that is at 6.7, but is actually more modern than the Sheridan that is at 8.3. I mean, I know why, I know how it works. I know why BRs are the way they are. It just, it's still weird. <laughs> So given that this has the same sort of gun as the M41, I'm thinking we should probably play it in a very similar way. So that's kind of what I'm doing here. Although I have taken a wrong turn and ended up in the wrong spot, but we'll make do. That M56 over there is pretty much exactly where I was going to go. And he's dead. So it's probably a good thing that I didn't go that way. But he did spot something up there that might be of interest to us. Because I think there is another light tank scouting up that way. People have gotten wise to these tactics. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to drop uh, artillery there. And that should hopefully slow him down from getting into the capture point. And maybe even kill him if he stays there. Yeah, he is right up there. And there we go. Critted him, gunner and turret drive is out. Okay, and now he's done for. So he was pretty close. He was he was very, very close. Uh, maybe go into the vegetation here. We got these really long antennas though, so that might get in the way from us staying hidden if we go too open. So we're gonna have to stick to these trees here. I think I see something down there. My machine gun's in the way. Oh, that's uh, slightly awkward. It's like playing Gunner Heat PC all over again. My machine gun's in the way. Yeah, that could be a slight problem actually because the binoculars come out from where the commander's hatch is. And so that machine gun is really high up for that. That looks like a IS-3 almost, but I don't think it's an IS-3. It's very um pointy. There's something coming towards me. I'm just gonna stay still because I don't think he knows I'm here. Yep, right there. It's an M41, I think. Oh no, it's a T44. Okay, well, we're gonna back down just a little bit here. And it'll go slightly flatter ground. We don't have the most amazing gun depression, unfortunately. Oh, there we go. He's gotten taken out. That's fine. I'm good with that. Oh man, the wyvern makes the most terrifying sound. I mean, I'm glad they've updated the, the sounds though because like that, that's such a unique noise that it makes. Oh, well, I wasn't paying attention. So it does allow me to switch to a suitably Vietnam era aircraft, the Sky Raider. Although this is the AD4 or AD2 Sky Raider, not the A1. Because that's still like $100 on the marketplace. Seriously, how is that thing so good that people are willing to pay? A hundred bucks for it. This is also a really unique loadout that I created here. <laughs> we've got Mighty Mouse Rockets, which is amazing. Because those are amazing even at 8.0. And then we've got Tiny Tims and a Thousand Pounder, because of, of course. Which also means we are very, very, very heavy. But that's okay. I want to drop a bomb on somebody, I think. Uh, we'll just drop it there. And away we go. Uh, it was close enough. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm not very good at doing that, honestly. I've gotten too used to having CCIP and stuff like that for uh, the more modern planes. I've gotten way too used to that. All right, we're going to try with the Tiny Tims now. These are these are very big rockets. Very, very big rockets. But uh, they're uh, a little bit hard to aim. Uh, I don't know which one's going to fire off first, so I'm just going to go for it. Oh, I missed. Ooh! Okay, turn away. Get him! Oh, that was a direct hit! <laughs> okay, I'm okay with that now. That was a direct hit. <laughs> um, I'm probably never going to be able to do that again. Honestly. Oh, that guy's still uh, on spawn protection. I forgot that that was the spawn down there. So I see that hill over there and I think like, Oh yeah, no, that's where the enemies are and it's just, well... And that's also where the spawn is. <laughs> and down we go. Something I've been trying to figure out with this tank is how much ammo to keep in it. But I've only just realized it actually doesn't matter because the ammo racks are at the front. So... It actually doesn't matter. Although the advantage is you don't have any ammo stored in the turret. So if you only show your turret and you stay perfectly held down, you're actually kind of safe-ish. Especially with the gunner being that low down, you might actually be all right. It, it just means that you could probably take full ammo and you'll still be okay. So carrying only 14 shots out of a possible 20-ish, I think, uh, it, it doesn't really matter. All right, we're trying to play a little bit more aggressively this time because given that this has the gun of the M41, I want to see if it can actually play like one because the M41 is essentially a big chaffy. And if you don't know what the chaffy is, it's the M24. It's a scout tank that has a really good gun, so it's actually far better at attacking than it really should be. I, I'm getting a feeling that Sheridan really isn't that. Let's just hit you there. There we go. Well, that's the, that's the gun in action there. The gun does very well. I think the M41 is a little bit more mobile though. Like it definitely feels a lot faster because this has kind of skinny tracks for its shape. And I don't know. It rotates very nicely though, I will say that. Compared to the regular Sheridan in the tech tree, uh, this definitely seems like it could be... There's something behind him. I just saw it. Okay, that's a tortoise. So I don't think I can actually pen the front of the tortoise. I don't think so anyway. I might be able to hit his gun. So let's just drop some artillery on them and hope I don't get flanked because I think there's somebody coming down that way. Oh, there was. Okay, well, there's its uh, track knocked out. Let's try to get its gun now. That's its gun. Okay, I need. I still need somebody to kind of finish it off. It's gunner in breach. He's trying to mark me for the team, I think, but it's not really working because they're not really paying attention. Oh, no, that's probably marked me now. Let's get his gun out again. Uh-oh. <laughs> I was wondering when that was going to happen, to be honest. <laughs> All right, well, the tortoise is knocked out, so we have that going for us. Got a nice little assist for that. Because I'm genuinely not sure. I've never tried taking out a tortoise with this gun. I don't know if you can. And we have 300 millimeters of penetration, so maybe I could have. Maybe I could have. So really, the comparison with this isn't the Sheridan at all. It's the M41 and whether or not it compares to that. And I would say it does, for sure. Firepower wise, we got the same gun. We got the same sort of setup here. Oh, there we go. Cheeky kill. But yeah, every kill you get with it does feel really cheeky. And of course, this is a premium. Like, even though, I mean, it's a battle pass vehicle, but it, it's a premium compared to the uh, the Sheridan or the M41. Oh, that was lucky. Okay, I don't think he knows that he can actually pen my um my tank. I don't I don't think he knows. <laughs> he can actually shoot through this. This is aluminium alloy armor, the same stuff the M113 is made of. And yes, if you have something like a 50 caliber, you can probably shoot through it. Okay, so they're going into the B point here. Somebody's coming towards me. Oh, that was a bad hit. That was a definitely a bad hit. All right, load the HE. Give me HE. I mean, I'm hoping he comes towards me rather than like this way. Oh, that was a ricochet. That's bad. That's bad. That's very, very bad. 
Oh, that could have gone so much worse. Thank God for 50 cal and high explosive. Okay, that, yeah, that could have gone so much worse. Because <laughs> I think the, the gun that he's got there, uh, that would go straight through this. Like, to the point where it may actually do minimal damage, because there's not much armor to spawn on the first place. But, like... <laughs> okay, he's actually stuck in there right now. Can I hit the top of his turret, maybe? M47. I don't think he noticed at all. I mean, he know he knows now, anyway. Okay, that's him done. Okay, he... This guy has no idea. There we go. <laughs> right, um... He had no idea that I was there. The entire time. There is one more that still knows where I am, though. This one right here. Okay, that's probably giving me away. I'm just gonna back up a little bit here. Run! <laughs> go, 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 go. Speed! Oh, speaking of speed, hello. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Oh, no. oh that's bad. That is very bad. I'm completely out of ammo. I didn't even get the spot. Jeez. And that right there is probably why, you know, taking less ammo actually really didn't help me at all. Alright, going in with the Tiny Tims. Uh, I think it's gonna be about there. Ooh, that was very close. I knocked out his gun and his track. No! Stop shooting me! I think I might need to go with the bomb for this one. But, uh, no, I want to make things difficult for myself. I want to use my, uh, my rockets. Because I can. Oh, that was a total miss. <laughs> oh, that was bad. Well, down we go. All right, now we're in the snow. From the jungles to the sands to the snow. We're really going everywhere at this point. But also that snow texture on the uh, side of the tank there. Like, why is it so pooled on one side and then, like, clean on the other side? Like, is it supposed to be simulating, like, the snow getting brushed off by people mounting up the left and right? Because I can tell you one thing from experience. It's never the same side. <laughs> Like, it's pretty rare it's the same side, honestly. <laughs> like, I know the hatch is over there, but we... Yeah, you just climb up wherever, honestly. <laughs> but it is funny that they thought of that. But also, there's a little window. Do you see that? There's a little window right here. What is that for? Like, I'm, I'm assuming that that thing flips up and it's like a wakeboard. Like the BMPs and the M113 has. So maybe that's like a window for the driver to look through. I'm, I'm not sure. I've, I've never used amphibious vehicles before. Really. So... Well, not this kind of amphibious vehicle, anyway. Yes, because aside from being airborne capable, the Sheridan was also supposed to be amphibious. There. Ooh, I just missed. Oh, it just went right over the top of him. Oh, that's, that's bad. I could have gotten a kill for that. Well, I got him now. <laughs> I didn't kill him, but I did hit him. I mean, I could have probably ranged it because he wasn't even looking at me, but... It's fine. Ooh, that went right through me. Oh, wow. Okay, uh, that literally went right through the tank. I saw it come out the other side. Okay, somebody's on the C point right there. I'm gonna drop that artillery as like kind of like a little distraction for him and then we'll see if I can spot him. I, I do want to scout him as well. See if I can hit that. I don't want to push past just in case anybody's actually like watching the point. Oh, there he is. Gotcha. Okay, there's him dead. Uh, is that... Is that the one that I was looking at, though? Oh, there's another one. There's another one somewhere over here. I just saw, I heard the shot. I didn't see it, but I heard it. Yeah, it's like... There he is. Okay, can I hit that from here? Oh, no. He's pulling back. Never mind. 350. Ooh. ooh, ooh, ooh. There. What did I hit? Did I hit the... Oh, I hit the rock in front of him. Uh... I hear plane. Ah! No! I hate that thing so much. It's not even so much that it's uh, strong or anything. It's not. It's not really that good of a plane. It's just annoying. <laughs> yes, that that that's my definition of something that should be hateable. Now I'm gonna attempt to shoot it down, but I don't think uh, I'll be able to. Uh, also because he's already on fire, and he's a jet plane. And jets tend to not be 
particularly easy for props to keep up with. But we're going to stuka dive onto this guy down here. And... Rockets away. Oh, that was a little high. Ooh. What was that? What was that? Went right past my head. Is that a plane? That is a plane. Okay, I'm going to come around for another uh, attack. This time I'm just going to use the bombs. And they're not there anymore. Rats. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. AA is shooting at me. Mm. Nope. I don't like it. I gotta say, this plane does not like turning. Not not much, honestly. Ooh, okay. Maybe. Now. Okay, well, that, that had less of an effect than I was hoping it would. Oh. Well. Uh, you can't fly without a tail, I'll be honest. Honestly, though, like, looking at those two uh, Hellcats up there. Like, that's the Italian one and the Super Hellcat over there. You genuinely could play the Sheridan a bit like that. Except that it has better ammo. In fact, it feels a lot like the Hellcat. It's not as fast, necessarily. I think the Hellcat still has it beat, but uh, you can get some really sneaky kills. Especially just from an unexpected angle. That helicopter? Oh my god, it is a helicopter. I was gonna say, is this an up tier? It is. This is 7.7. .7. Alright, I took out his gunner. Oh no, that was a tiger next to him. I didn't even see that. He popped up at the last second. It's okay, this is what backups are for. Just gonna put off some smoke over there. I think that should land pretty much exactly in that street over there. I think. I've only just noticed for the first time that this says Chinese food. And then in the window it says sandwich followed by dog. Huh? And I know that's supposed to be hot dog. That's weird. And also who puts a Chinese food sign like that? Why is it in the street? <laughs> Why is there a fish market next to a hot auto parts? And why is the fish market selling hot dogs? I have so many questions about this place. Oh, somebody's on the A point. And I, I, I don't know. I'm playing a little bit more cautious just because big tanks. Big tanks are scary. Oh, he can still see me. Oh, cheeky. Oh, somebody is coming towards me. Those are German tracers. They're green German tracers. You can't fight anything head on. So I don't want to, but at the same time, though. Hello. <laughs> that was an amazing shot. <laughs> Dead center of the turret. Gotta love the uh, the amount of spall an APDS shot can kick up, though. Uh, woo, there we go. Come on. Oh, just stop there. Just stop there. It's okay. It's okay. Nothing happened. It's totally fine. Nobody died down there. Go away, you. Oh. Got it. Wait, how did that not take out his gun? Like, I definitely hit his gun, didn't I? That that makes very, very little sense. But who knows? But you have a round like this, though. Makes me wish this tank had more ammo. But then again, I should probably be going to the capture points and stuff like that. You know, actually playing the objective. Um... That would probably help. I, it would resupply my ammo, so... It's not a problem with the tank, it's a problem with me. Really. But if you've watched this far into the video, comment down below how much you like homemade ice cream. Yummy. With the timestamp 7 minutes 52, and I exploded. Alright, they just captured the C point, so I think this might be a good opportunity for some bombing. Just don't know what it was that got it. Oh, there he is. I see him. That might be a little bit off target. Yep, yeah, just a little. Or a lot. You know. But who's counting? Whoa! That's a lot of planes. All of a sudden. I gotta hit something with my rockets. Come on! There we go. Okay, well, he shot up nearly the entire side of my wing there, which is definitely making flying nope. around a little bit more difficult. Brats. All right, having a really decent selection of maps this time around. Good variety. Because now we're in the urban sprawl that is Advance of the Rhine, or rather what's left of the urban sprawl. I mean, this is not really a habitable city anymore, I'll be honest. I know we rag on uh, War Thunder for having all of its problems right now and then, but can we just admire that track movement on the suspension? Because it looks really good. Alright, I think this is a good enough spot. I like going to the park over here because uh, you, you at least can hide the littler tanks somewhat. There's definitely a fair few coming down over here. So, easy artillery shots over there. I think we're going to swap positions here. Let's just run across. Should be okay. Should be okay. Yeah. I think the only thing that this is really lacking is any form of thermals or night vision. But again, at 6.7, you don't really need it. The problem is you get up tiered to, you know, 7.7, .7, where 
you could need it. And uh, yeah, it is a disadvantage. But then these sorts of vehicles were always the sort of intermediate kind of teenage years for tank development, which means they, they lack in certain areas and then they're advanced in other areas. And you just never really know which way to go with it. I'm getting very, very close to their spawn now, and I don't like it. Trying to flank here, but I might end up head on with somebody coming out of spawn, and then we're gonna be in trouble. Or more likely, we're gonna be dead. Can you get a cheeky shot down this way? Maybe? Maybe? No? That's a no. Where did that come from? It's okay, we have backups. I'm gonna drop artillery on there again, just because it's a free hit. I mean, I know that artillery can be used very strategically, I'm not one of those people. I use it to farm hits. <laughs> because it can. Because it's funny. Yeah, for a tank with a stabilized gun, I really should be attacking uh, on the move a lot more than I am. There is something right here. Like, right behind this wall over here. Uh, is there anyone watching that area? I don't think so. So, let's just go over there and uh, be annoying. Or get a kill, somehow. Yep. I'm okay with that too. Wait, is there actually somebody still here? No. Okay, he's he's dead. I just saw it blink on the map for a second and got worried that I just drove past somebody. As, yeah, that does happen to me more often than I'd like to admit. But, yeah. Could be worse. Oh no, Friendly just died. And he was capturing the base too. Okay, so let's... Uh, there we go. <laughs> Hang on, I should probably mark him, huh? He's there. Somewhere. I mean, I know he's behind here, it's just that whether he knows which way I'm going. Ooh! Well, that's never good. So, the M551-76 Sheridan. Is it any good? Well, I like it. And I know that it's one of those things where your mileage may vary, but it has the... probably one of the better parts of the M41, which is that amazing gun. And it's the same thing that the Chaffee, the M24, also has in common is that it has a very good gun for such a small tank but that being said the Sheridan is not a small tank it is much larger which also means it comes with a certain degree of issues mainly being that it is quite the the chunky boy although it's it seems to stay hidden better than you would expect I guess maybe because it's sort of a greenish color that blends in very nicely or maybe just people aren't really looking for something like that at 6.7 because, let's be honest, the Sheridan is an 8.3 tank. It is not what you'd expect to see at this sort of BR. So, it being at a much lower BR is definitely a very, very good thing. But all that said, it's one of those tanks that you have to really like the playstyle. That sort of staying on the flank, staying hidden getting sneaky shots, and you do really have to be sneaky because quite a lot of the time, things will just kill you instantly. And it's not something that you can really prevent. I mean, the advantage being, of course, most of these Sabos that people are going to be using will go right through. They will overpen and then do uh, relatively minimal damage, I would say, because there's not that much spawn to be had with such thin armor. But you are vulnerable to HE, you're vulnerable to... Uh, auto cannons, some machine guns, you know, and that's where you could find yourself in a lot of uh, trouble if you're out in the open. So definitely one of those tanks where you can make use of the mobility very nicely. And it, it is somewhat amphibious, you know, like, look, it, it's not, I don't know if it floats. Let me, let me test that right now. It does not float. But I, I mean, that wakeboard doesn't even come up when it's in water, which is really interesting because it's supposed to. So I think War Thunder may be for gods. Yeah, because it does not float. So, not as amphibious as uh, it's really supposed to be. Because the, the Sheridan is supposed to have some limited water crossing ability. It's the reason it has that wakeboard in the first place. It, I mean, we just shattered against that Panzer too. So, that gives you an idea of what it's like engaging anything from the front. But, you know, you also do get smoke shells. Which I think are criminally underrated as far as shells go. Because they do get quite a bit of utility. If you know how to place them. Like, you can see how much drop there is but if I wanted to just place one over here you can see look at that cloud like it, it actually does help especially at BRs where there aren't any thermals to worry about so it has 
genuinely got a decent amount of utility that just doesn't get used as often. And of course, in uh, in a smaller tank like this, you, you of course have to think about whether or not you want to take that extra smoke shell or an AP round, because one of those is definitely going to get use where uh, the others won't. So, again, it's it's your mileage may vary, but I, I genuinely really like this tank and... Uh, as far as Battle Pass vehicles go, I can see this one getting used far more often uh, than I've seen for some of the Battle Pass vehicles. A lot of the Battle Pass vehicles tend to be a little gimmicky sometimes, and I think that kind of restricts their usage somewhat, but this is quite a nice one to have. So, if uh, you enjoyed this uh, video as well, don't forget to leave a like, and let me know down below what you think of this particular variant of the Sheridan in real life and in the game. And of course, if you're brand new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. My name is Panzer, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.